thank you for serving in World War II. I appreciate that. You are welcome. Right. Now, John, how about uh, we'd like to share with everybody. Uh, we were talking to Mary about the poppies we're going to be wearing. There were apparently some people in the state of Maryland, six of you, yeah. that have been making them yeah. and passing them out. Now, show us how you do it. I think it looks pretty neat. All right. This is a kit. Okay. This is a poppy making this kit. This will make 1,000. Okay. 13 inches of this material will make 100. 13 inches, okay. 13 inches. So I've got that marked out on this board. This is your work board. Oh, yeah, because I do this. I do a lot of work in my lap. Okay. You with, can see it easier with the and cat, easier to work with. With the cat on the side. Okay, <laughs> your assistant. So you're supposed to make a half inch. So I've got some metal that I have made stop me from measuring each one. So this is a half inch. I put it halfway across this piece of metal and you cut it like this. I make two of them because if I make five poppies I have to have an odd one. I make 50 at a time. And one sitting, you make 50. No, no, no. a couple sitting. Okay. <laughs> then what you have to do, you have to take these. And these are just straight pins, big straight pins. Yeah. And you open it up. This is the hardest part. Threading the needle, right? Well, it's not threading the needle, but most of these things don't want to come apart. Oh, that one did. That was perfect, yeah. So yeah. you're actually splitting what you just cut. See, there's four, okay. enough to make four poppies in each one of these cuts. Got to take your time and... Now, yeah. what this is supposed to do, what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to be thin, and this is supposed to come all apart with, like, fuzz, but it doesn't, and the lady that's got me into this, she says, don't feel as if you've got to break them apart. I says, well, it'll take an awful long while to snip those, and, and make them fan out like it shows on sure. that picture. Uh, that's four. Gotta have one more. And there's six people across the state doing this. You actually even have workshops, right? Yes, I've had a couple of workshops. But it seems like they... It's all great until you get in there and your fingers get a little sore. Well, this, after a while, I bet your hands and the fingers, right? Right. Okay. So now you've got them so all separated. Now you got them all separated. Now what you do, you split this in half this way with the black inside. And I'm ahead of myself because these should be made first. And that's just a piece of that's that's a, wire, John? That's yeah. wire. Okay. Seven-inch piece of wire. You're supposed to have three and four when you finish. And I made a piece of metal that is about got down to the right size when you bend it. It's just far enough Perfect. far enough apart that it holds when you get in there. Now if somebody goes to one of these workshops, you actually teach them all these steps and all these little tricks with the pieces of metal and everything? Well, oh yeah, you can take a beer can and make that okay. with scissors. Yeah. <laughs> it's not encouraged that with some of our well, veterans. Well, right? no, they wouldn't like that very much okay. to cut up their beer cans. But my main problem is, you see how that's twisted? Right. Well, the main thing of it is... Keep it straight. I like them so that when they're straight, what it does when you clip that on that thing 
my wife to won't stay now today. Has a little this TV is, camera this front. Is, this is the hardest part of making a poppy. Is you bend it just right. You, you bend that just right, and you won't have much trouble. There's your. You got it. Oh, there's five stems. So that's bent that way. This is already folded over. I don't want that piece. That's more than. That's more than enough. In other words, there's only supposed to be one black and one green. Okay, you, got, you had a double there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I had a double. Well, it looks like to me the secret is take your time and get all the measurements right. And then you oh, slide it right you up. See when that's bent right. Right. See that won't mm -hmm. move. See that won't move. So you go this way and this a way. twist. Fold this up even, up at the top. Like that. I see peeling all those potatoes that there's a cook in World War II. Helps you get these, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's right. Just twist it. Okay, and that holds it in place, right? That holds it in place. Now, when you get five of them together, you get five of those together, you take and separate your, separate your, uh, the part, the these are the These poppy. are the petals. Right. These are the petals. Now you cut those, uh, they have to be cut out of, again, out of the pack, right? So there's a that, pattern for that's cutting That's already yeah. cut for you. Oh, okay. And these are a little hard to get apart sometimes because I don't know where they store them, but I have done two kits that people started and they must not store them in a very good place because they just adhere to each other best. they got yeah. stuck together now what the what the uh, instruction says that this should be five eighths of an inch from the point to there There's one this petal around. almost done, yeah. And this is your center. See, and if those things, those things are right, that's what forms it. Okay. See, because that's cut a half inch. And you put it there and you turn it. So towards just twist it right you, on, huh? Towards you. Put another petal on. Now, uh, some people roll all them petals on at one time, and I you cannot do, that, no. do it. I cannot do it. I have tried it. I've even made a pattern here to try to uh, roll them on, but I it can't do it. I, it won't work. I can't do it. So you just put them on one at a time? Just one at a time like that. And if you if you stay in practice, don't don't get too lazy and... You stay in practice, you can do pretty good and pretty fast. Now, how many do you do this every day, or a couple days a week, uh, or one day a week? Or? Watching baseball. Okay. Okay. What? Who, who do you cheer for? You're an Orioles fan. An Oriole, man. All oh, right. <laughs> You've had a lot to cheer for, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've done pretty good the last couple of days. Now. So you do this while you're watching a baseball game? Yeah. Well, okay. you get it in between batters. And Oh, there you and go. you turn it around, look like that, and then you fasten it together so it doesn't come apart. Take the short end. Just wrap it around. And you wrap it around here good and tight. You're going to have to send one of these to Buck Showwater, I think. Maybe he'll wear in his uniform Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> he might do it. Yeah. This is where my fingers get sore, so... So you just pinch it back, around at the end. I go back to a pair of pliers. And what I can do with these pliers, I can stick this in tight so it doesn't stick in the hand. Oh, that's it. There's Poppy. There you go. Let me just see that just for a second. Okay. Beautiful. Now, and that's one. Now, 
that's not spread apart like that. My daughter has a way she can make them that she spreads them. But you see, you squeeze that in, and, and it that, pops out, and that that makes your poppy. And you do, and, that, and you do that, and again, and then you yeah. reach down in here, and you twist that, and that's how they Gives make it that, that shape. And then this is where this is where you each have one to, of them have a tag. Yeah, each one of them had a tag. This is this is two fourteen. John, do they put some a veteran's name on these or no? No, no, this is I just don't that. know, okay. but each uh, post-everlasting ceremony, uh, they put one in the casket. Oh, actually, is that right, in yeah. the casket? Okay. Yeah. So you do these uh, 162 baseball games. That's a lot of poppies. Well, I tell you, <laughs> but you see how many times, you see how many things that a poppy gets touched before. Now you see that? Kind of popped away see from there? it. In the air. Yeah. Got away from it. Where the, there's where I've been a fussing. They won't, they won't put enough glue on these. Oh, okay. So it didn't When stick. I first started in 2010. Plenty of glue. Oh, you have it all over your hands. Now I don't know what's Oh, I said it actually seals itself with a little bit of glue. Yeah, but you see. If you, Not as much glue. If you would, if you'd have the amount of glue on there that you want. Now it's got it. See, there you go. Well, it looks right. better. Now that looks like a good poppy. Now, reason I'd do it that way, suppose you put it in your pocket over right. there. It won't get crushed and lose shape. That's it right. It works well. And it says American Legion, American Legion Auxiliary, handmade by veterans. Right. All right. Well, John, look at thank you very much, okay? First of all, thanks again for serving in World War II. I bet you were a good cook. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you know what? Don't forget to feed the colonel. Oh, first. He gets fed first. Then you get busted. <laughs> okay, all right. And look at thank you for making the poppies. And before I let you go, good luck, Otis. Thank you. My name's Fred McNeil. You've been watching QAC TV7. Thanks for being with us, and we'll see you next time.